hey everybody welcome back to my channel so for our next video in our 2022 valentine's day series we are making hibachi yes guys you are seeing this right we have chicken steak shrimp fried rice and vegetables so let's hop right into the video so first i'm going to start off with my vegetables i have green and yellow squash that i sliced and then cut into fours some baby carrots that i sliced in half some onions and some broccoli i'm going to be using this as my vegetable medley so now moving on i am using my water and I think this is so appropriate for the meal and I'm using some stir fry oil stir fry oil and I'm gonna put about a tablespoon in my wok I have my stove on a medium high heat and I'm gonna throw my vegetables in and I'm gonna give it a quick toss I'm gonna occasionally be stirring my vegetables just to make sure that they don't burn um, and then once it took about eight to 10 minutes in total for me to cook my vegetable medley. And I'm gonna throw in some seasonings, guys. This, I'm pretty much gonna be using the same seasonings all throughout this dish. I'm gonna be using some sesame oil. I'm gonna be using, I love uh, the stir fry sauce from Panda Express, but you can also use teriyaki sauce if you do not, or you don't. if you don't like the Panda Express sauce, you can use teriyaki sauce. And then I'm gonna be using some soy sauce and I'm gonna be seasoning it with some black pepper, just a tiny, bit of salt because we are using soy sauce and that's salty in its own in itself so i'm going to be using just a splash of salt and then you can play around with some garlic powder and some onion powder and then last but not least one of the most important ingredients is i'm going to be using some um garlic and herb butter guys i like to use the peri gold garlic and herb butter but you can use whatever type of garlic and herb butter you find in your local grocery stores again you want to consistently stir them and then once it's finished cooking i'm gonna plate this i'm gonna be doing it just like how they do it at the hibachi restaurant so it's gonna be presentation time all throughout this video moving on to our fried rice i'm gonna every time you see me putting oil in my my wok on my saute pan i'm that is the stir fry oil um so i'm gonna crack open two eggs and then i'm just gonna scramble them once they're almost done i'm gonna be adding in my day old long gray rice guys so you want to make sure you cook some um rice the day before so it can be ready for you to use it when you're making your stir fry rice then um your fried rice the next day so i'm gonna add in two cups of my already cooked long grain rice and i'm just going to incorporate my rice into my eggs and let that go for about six minutes just constantly you know stir it you know stir everything together and you're gonna start to see the rice get toasted and it's almost gonna turn give it like a tan color um and that's what you're looking for so once your um rice is cooked with your eggs for about six minutes you can then go go ahead and add in some chopped scallions or green onions or spring onions whatever you want to call them and um then Again, we're going to incorporate the same type of seasonings. The only thing I did add was, as you saw, the fried rice seasonings. I just added in like a sprinkle of that. Not the whole pack, just a just a sprinkle, as you saw. But again, I'm adding in some scallions, some soy sauce, that Panda Express uh, stir fry sauce. I added in a splash of the sesame oil, and I just gave it a quick mix. And then as far as seasonings, I added in some black pepper, um, some onion powder, because typically in fried rice they put onions in it so i didn't put the onions in because i put them in my vegetable medley i added in some onion powder and i just gave it a quick mix around and again we're just gonna let this cook for about seven minutes after you put your sauce in go ahead and let it cook for about seven minutes and then go ahead and add that garlic and herb butter Guys, this garlic and herb butter is so delicious. It really elevates your food. It adds a lot of flavor, especially to the fried rice. That, that is literally my favorite part of this whole meal. Um, so we're going to let this cook with everything incorporated for about seven minutes. And then once it's done, we are going to add it to our plate, just like how they do at the hibachi restaurants. Um, so I'm just going to add it next to my vegetable medley and... Um, if you're not making fried rice and you want to make chow mein or lo mein, you would then add it there. I personally don't like chow mein though, or lo mein. So um, moving on to my saute pan, because I was cooking in two pots at the same time, I'm going to be making my protein out of that. So all I did was take some chicken breast, sliced it in half, and I'm just going to sear it on both sides in my stir fry oil. 
which took about three minutes per side. Once um, both sides have a good sear, I'm gonna remove them from my pan and then I'm gonna dice them up. You can cut them into however big, uh, bigger pieces that you want. I did like quarter size pieces and I'm just gonna let that cook until it's completely done. But of course, I'm gonna add in some sesame oil, some of that stir fry sauce, um, some soy sauce and some garlic and herb butter. And I'm just gonna let that cook in all that goodness juiciness flavors until our chicken is done what this the way your house gonna be smelling when you are doing this i was eating the entire time so by the time i finished i wasn't even hungry because i couldn't stop eating because the flavors are just all up in your nostrils and it's just this mixture is just wonderful but again if you don't like the stir fry sauce from pan express you can also use teriyaki sauce um but now once your your chicken is finished you can move on to plating it next to your fried rice on your plate this plate i got from target is way bigger than the plate that i normally use in my presentation videos um so because it's a lot of food going on here so now moving back to our saute pan i'm doing the same thing that i did for the chicken for my sirloin steak i just put some stir fry stir fry oil down and then i'm just going to sear it on both sides now with the steak i personally am a medium rare to medium girl my fiance is a medium well to well done man so I just removed my steak before I removed his. So I did the same thing like I did for the chicken. I, once I got a good sear on both sides, I removed them, uh, diced them up into fairly large pieces. And then I just let my pieces cook after I added in my garlic herb butter, my um, stir fry sauce, a splash of sesame oil, and then, you know, some pepper and a splash of garlic powder. Um, I let that cook for about three minutes. Then I removed mine because again, I like mine to be like a medium rare medium. Once I remove mine, I let my fiance's cook for an additional four to five minutes. So his can be like a medium well to well done. So now that my steak um, portions were finished, I'm going to add my um, steak next to my chicken. And then we have just a little room left for our shrimp. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I told you this was going to be a lot of food. So I have the, um, uh, I don't remember the size shrimp, but you can see they're kind of small. And so I added in my shrimp to my wok with my stir fry oil. And then I went ahead and seasoned it um, after about one minute with the same seasonings I've got. I've been using this whole time, guys. Nothing is changing. Um, but shrimp does not take long to cook so it took me in total about three minutes to cook my shrimp and I had my stove again on a medium high heat and once your shrimp is cooked we can add this to this is the final layer add our shrimp next to our uh, steak and chicken and that's pretty much it you can top this off with some green onions if you want to but I didn't I just added in some yum yum sauce because it ain't no hibachi without some yum yum sauce um um, but it couldn't fit on my plate, so I put it next to my plate. But that's pretty much it, guys. Isn't this so delicious? So many flavors, so many options. Guys, Valentine's Day, your Valentine's Day will be a hit if you make this dish hibachi at home. But that's pretty much it, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys are washing your hands, and I will see you guys at my next video.